Hi guys, it's your Moro girl coming back with you and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my beautiful vanity. Um, a couple of my subscribers wanted to know how I built this beautiful vanity. And the reason why I have it is so convenient to do your makeup and your hair right here. Everything in one spot. Guys, this is so convenient if you could build one. There is a lot of YouTubers out there have also built their own. But I did mine with a little twist. I did a medicine cabinet, guys. So the other YouTubers, what they did is they built a box. And then it was empty in the back. So what I did was build a medicine cabinet, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I use my medicine cabinet instead of just the box is because I like to put my makeup away so it's not just displayed all over and it doesn't look colored because I have a small space. So what I did was I took a medicine cabinet I got from Lowe's, and this is the part of the medicine cabinet that's right here. And I just put away my makeup, and I'm using the Fenty Beauty today, guys, just in case you want to know, because a lot of you guys is asking about my makeup. And also, I just built a frame here for my lights on the right side, the left side, okay, and then a frame top and bottom that hold it. So, guys, I'm going to show you how I made this cabinet. Okay, guys, thanks again for coming to my channel. This is your more girl. Let's get started. So, guys, what I did was I went to Lowe's and I saw a medicine cabinet. And this was my whole inspiration. I love the mirror on the left side, the mirror that's on the back, and the top and front and the sides. You can see our chrome. I figured this was beautiful and it was glamorous and it looked high end. So I figured that is a great way to do my cabinet. I went to Home Depot and purchased this medicine cabinet. It's a 22 inch and it's just a basic white cabinet. So I figure I'm going to duplicate what I saw from Lowe's and make this cabinet the same way. As you can see, this is the basic medicine cabinet. The front was already mirrored. So what I had to do is just mirror the inside of the door, the back of the cabinet, the top and bottom shelf, and I wanted each shelf mirrored. I didn't want the white basic shelving that came with it. So I took some measurements and I went over to Lowe's and had them cut the glass for me. Okay, once I got the mirrors from Lowe's, I'm taking off the tape. And guys, you have to be extra careful because these edges are razor sharp and these have to be sanded down with about a 220 grip sandpaper because if not you will be cut okay so be extremely careful with this process so i'm just going to take the edges and just kind of you know not scratch the mirror but just to make sure some of these edges is not as sharp so he demonstrated this to me at lowe's you know he just said just be careful with it you know. So again, if they not as sharp, but again, be extremely careful. When I went to Lowe's, I brought my shelf with me and I had them cut six strips and I glued the two mirrors together, one for the top and one for the bottom so I won't have to see the back of the mirror that is gray. The first thing you're going to need is a drill and one and three eighth drill bit to drill the holes from the vanity light strip. Since I have the four light vanity strip from Lowe's, I had to get the one by five white shelf board. And you have to measure from top to bottom, depending on what type of medicine cabinet you get. I didn't put the measurements down because some people might use the three lights. I just got the one that was the four lights. So I make sure that was measured evenly and I just drew a circle, which is still the same one and three eighths with the drill bit. Here you see me, I already pre-drilled the first one. Sorry guys, I did lose some footage. And when it came to the second board, only thing you have to do is place it on top and draw a circle. 
Once I had the board um, on top of it and all the circles was drawn, I started to drill. Okay, guys, do not do what more girl just did. Do not drill on your floors. Okay, it was January because this is some old video footage and I was not about to go outside. So I just drilled for a couple of seconds just to get it started so you could see it through the second board. I took the second board off and then I continued to drill through the rest. Now it was time to check to make sure my measurements fit right. So the socket did fit through the board correctly and you see the cap goes on top to fit nice and snug. So now it's time to do the sides. So the next thing I had to get was one by four, just pine board for the sides. We're not doing a complete box. We're just doing the sides because the hardware has to fit inside of it. Okay, so basically the front board, I wanted the white board because I didn't want that painted. And the two sides, it didn't matter too much because the inside you won't see because it's going to be where the uh, vanity mirror is. And then the other side, you could just paint it with basic white paint. Okay, now that I have the sides are done, it's time to attach it to the vanity mirror. Okay, basically, only thing you do is open up the vanity and screw from the vanity mirror towards the sides. Okay, and then I attach the top board and then the bottom board. I nail that all together. Now this is something that's optional. I just sprayed my caps black and then I put glue on them because I want to um, wrap some of my bling wrap around it. And this bling wrap you see um, with many of my projects. So I just wanted to give it that finish, you know, something that's a little bit more bling. So I just used the E6000 glue, wrapped it around it and let it dry. And it was that simple. Okay, once everything was put together, I just had to mount it to the board and I just used like L brackets. And also I used my little bit of bling on the screws so that I don't see like the screw heads on it. And guys, that's basically it. Okay guys, so this is it. This is my beauty vanity mirror and this is how I created it. So I hope you was able to follow along because I recorded this last year and over um, a course of a couple months. So if you have any questions or if you couldn't understand something, just please leave me a comment and you know I will always, always answer you back. All right, guys, it's your more girl and thanks for stopping by.